What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so we've explored a cemetery. Not so scary, but now it is finally time to continue our adventure right here in route number two. And, well, we got a lot of stuff to cover right here, guys. Just a lot. I mean... This is not just, you know, one big old. This is not one route, it's one big old route filled with a lot of stuff and a lot of trainers. And not only that, but a lot of good Pokemon right here. That's why you're going to be seeing a nice variety of Pokemon being used in all that crud. So, let's see. In our last episode, we managed to capture a Mischievous, a pretty nice one. Going to be using that later, probably. And, uh, let's see, what else? We missed out on this little item right here. Let's grab it, and look at that. We found ourselves a heal ball. Nice Pokeball that can actually heal a Pokemon after you captured it. And, well, let's continue on right here. So, let's see. Talk to this lady. She's like, Pokemon can learn new moves in an instant if you use a TM on them. You don't say. So, let's see what this guy is doing. And he's like, whew, time for the little rest, I think. Writing may be easier on me, but it doesn't mean my Pokemon doesn't get tired. It kind of does. It kind of doesn't, I, I guess. So, let's see. I also captured a... Oh, hold on just a sec. There's a, something right here that I need to get. There's always an item right here. Hold on. There it is. Okay, so we found ourselves a repel right here. So, in our last episode 2, we revealed that we got ourselves a new Pokemon as well. A Pichu, with, which we named Puka. Not Aaliyah, not, uh, not Sparky, but Puka. And this is mainly because... Eventually, I'm going to evolve this Pokemon to an Alolan Raichu, and it does look like the Puka from Pokemon the series. Now, let's see. If you talk to this guy... Huh. So, you got a Pokedex 2, then. Have you? Then I guess I'll give you some Nest Balls. So, there it is. We get ourselves some Nest Balls. That's always awesome. Getting some real Pokemons. And, well, talk to her, and nothing much. Okay, so... There's still a lot of stuff that we need to cover around here, guys. We're going to try and visit as much, as many things as possible. As you can see on the bottom screen, somebody is waiting for us. And what is this right here? He's like, is it in a nice motel? But we're doing our best here, so I'm sure you can understand why we're all booked up. Oh, crud. Okay, so uh, that, that, would, that would mean that we're not allowed here right now. So let's go right ahead and take a look at what's uh, going on right here. See if uh, there's anything of interest going on and well it's good for kids to experience their own journeys but running away without even a word to your parents is another I thing entirety I tried to set the, that boy of mine straight but when I did I was the one who got beat and hey, which boy are we talking about I wanna know which boy we're talking about so let's go right here and see what we find and there is nothing okay so it might be might be a person we might meet up later on I could be wrong maybe I don't know but there is literally nothing right there. So let's go right ahead and see who's waiting for us up here. And we got another trader waiting for us. Preschoolers, Pistons, full power. Oh, so he thinks he's a car. Okay, so let's get this. We're taking on Preschooler Caleb. And, well, I'm hoping he's coming out with something pretty good right here. And here he comes out with a Spiro. Haven't seen that in quite some time right now. And, well, let's go right ahead and use our good old buddy Joker. Now, eventually I'll be using some different Pokemon. Forgot to heal these guys. But we're close to the Pokemon Center. Very, very close. And look at this. Spiro has been defeated. Oh, yes. Joker grows to level 15. And, well, it wants to learn Aqua Jet. So let's give it something better. And as you can see... It's special attack right now is the best stat, and this one is a physical one, so let's go right ahead and take away Pound, because, yeah, Pound is not really doing it for us right now. And there you go, Aqua Jet, given, taken, and Preschooler Caleb has been defeated. He doesn't look so happy at all. And, well, now that I mention that maybe we should be using some different Pokemon, look at this guy right here. Holy crud, it's a Dillabird! Dillabird has a hold of a ba of your bag and won't let go. It seems it wants you to follow it into the berry field. Hmm, there's something going on in the berry field. Something is afoot. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Actually, let's see, hold on. The settings are a little bit different right here. So, let's go right ahead and put Puka up in the front. Having used this guy right here. <laughs> Excuse me, I just sneezed. Okay, so... 
what in the Carmen San Diego is going on right here? And well, would you look at that? We got Team Skull. You got a lame bunch of berries. Now, Team Skulls, your adversaries. Taking berries off your hands is just the start of our plan, Joe. Let's get figgy with it. Watch while I nana me some berries. I'll share my berries for free for with any Pokemon, but you'll not you'll not have a single one from me. So what? I'm a lower than a Pokemon? I already got self-esteem issues, man. Yeah, well, doesn't everybody? So, here we go. He's like, what are you looking at, huh? 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 Yo, hold up your... You got a bone to pick with us, homie. You got a cap that may, uh, be, may have beat us at Marina, but you won't be so lucky if we get serious, yo. I appreciate your concern, child, but these Team Skull Punks do, uh, do nothing but talk big and act small. You carry on with your island challenge. You don't give them the moment's notice. Hmm. Wow, they they are very belittled right here. Yo, we're standing right here. At least act a little bit afraid or something, you know. Yo, you trying to run away? We're gonna have to take your Pokemon along with the berries. Yo, check out how hard-headed Team Skull grunts can be. Okay, so here we go, going up against Team Skull and. Man, you gotta love, you definitely have to love the, the logo and everything else right here. Look at this guy. You are challenged by a Team Skull Grunt. Let's get it going. He's coming out with the Drowsy. I may have chosen the wrong Pokemon for this, but it's okay. Let's go, Puka. Your first battle ever, and well, let's see. Thundershock. It, it, it should work, but it's not the strongest Pokemon right now. So here we go. Thundershock, not so effective, and here comes a pound attack. So that right there just tells me that, well, I gotta switch out my Pokemon. Let's go right ahead and use Dump Truck right here. It is a poison and dark type Pokemon, so it does have that half capability and shit. So let's see what happens. Here comes a pound attack. Dump Truck, not taking any of that. Thankfully, it does have a bite attack right here. So here we go. Pound attack again. Let's go, bite attack, and there goes Drowsy. Dump Truck does his thing right here. Look at that, and it grows to level 11, rightfully so. Look at that. And, well, Puka grows to level 11, which is great, too, and Ultra Psycho as well. Look at that. Yokozuna. See, I'm picking up a very good team right here, guys. Very, very good team, and, well... Homie here is not so happy. So, what's going to happen next? Yo, for real? You best stop trying to act hard, kid. Yo, I'm annoyed right now, homie. Let's go mess with the emo again. Aw, yeah? Let's go do it. Verdant Cavern is pretty close to anyway. And you. You better listen to what my boy has, has says and drill it into your thick skull of yours. For real, you better not forget, numbskull. Oh, okay, alrighty. So, let's see. Guy's impressed and he's like, oh, even that beat you there did quite a number on them. Allow me to thank you by di driving off those uh, Team Skull numbskulls. And right here we get ourselves an Oran Berry. And he's like, Oran Berries can restore some of the Pokemon's HP for them. You can feed a berry to a Pokemon or let one hold a berry and they'll eat it in when they need it. If you ever if you're ever looking for berries, you won't have to look very hard. Very hard, I should say. Berry berries grow like well, like weeds here in Alola, so feel free to pick up any if you find one. And well, we found some berries. They are in a nice pile right here. And, well, you can find some more berries. Now, there is a little bit of a catch if you ever find berries like this. And that is that sometimes there might be a Pokemon hiding under these berries. So, just keep an eye out for that right there, guys. And, well, let's see. kind of want to grab something else right here. There should be another item around here. And it's right here in the backside. Found ourselves a silver powder. And, well, let's go right ahead and talk to the individuals right here. Should be uh, an interesting talk, I guess. Uh, nope, there... <laughs> yeah, there. there's nothing but Delibirds here. Don't know how they survive since, uh... Let's see, Alola's supposed to be tropical, right? Then how are there winter Pokemon right here? I don't know, and, well... Let's see, there should be another item right here somewhere, right here in the corner. Let's see, right here. Right here, come on. Right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm pressing the button, pressing the button, pressing the button. It should be right here. There it is. We found ourselves a repel. Now, 
Let's go right ahead and get the H out of here. And I don't think there's anything else right here except for another another area right here where there's uh, more there's more dirt. So we're going to be getting out from here. And we're going to be moving on forward. Now, as you can see, we're still in Route 2. And we got ourselves a Pokemon trainer. So let's go right ahead and battle her. Lola, what'd you think? I'm pretty good at greetings, huh? I'm also great at Pokemon battles. Okay, so here we go. Another Pokemon battle. Who do we got? Oh, well, yes, we got ourselves Backpacker Ashley, and she is going to be coming out with a Cutney right here now. Probably a big mistake using a Puka again. Good gravy. Should probably pick up a bird, uh, a, a, a flying type Pokemon or something like that. So let's go ahead and switch out this Pokemon. Let's go straight for. I would like to say Dump Truck, but eh, let's go for Dump Truck. It is a Poison type Pokemon anyway, so it should, uh, it should, you know, should be able to hit it somehow. And here comes a Growth Attack. Yes, Dump Truck ready to go. Whatever made me think of Dump Truck as a name, that is very simple because, you know, uh, what was it? Muck and, uh, and Grimer. Two, you know, you, you normally find them in the sewers and everything, and I think, I'm, I'm only assuming that that's the same thing with, uh, whatchamacallit, with, uh, with Dump Trucks or Trash Can areas and all that crud. And, well, here we are getting hit by these, uh, Cutney attacks, and, well, here's a Pound Attack, and that does it something, and here's a Poison Touch. So now Cottony's feeling it. Okay, I did not know that. So, okay, we got some advantage right here. Let's get this new, a new uh, set of uh, downs for us right here. So let's go ahead and go with a little bit of a pound right here. So Dump Truck is surprising me every single time. And then maybe it's a good pickup that we actually got Dump Truck right here. So here comes a Fairy Wind attack. Not so effective. But it does put us on the red, and there goes Cottony. Look at that. Okay, so everybody's getting points, and Backpacker Ashley has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so let us move on right here, and let's see. There should be something right here. Where in the heck am I? Okay, so this is probably skipping up uh, over a few things. You can see it down in the map right there. So let's go ahead and get attacked by a Pokemon. And what would this be? It's a Makuhita. Don't need to face it because we already actually battled it one and caught one. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What can we do? Let's get the heck out of here. That's right. Let's get out of here. Alrighty. Alrighty. So let's move on right here. And there is a small opening right there, but before we do anything, we're going to get attacked by another Pokemon. And look at that. We are getting attacked by a Spiro Now, Spiro is a... Spiro is an attractive Pokemon right here. A very, very attractive Pokemon, but I am not going to mess with it right now. Eventually, I'm going to be capturing all these Pokemon off screen. You know, keep a collection and whatnot. That way, I can trade on my Pokemon Sun game. And... Well, before we battle that guy, let's go ahead and grab an item right here. And look at that. We found ourselves a revive. Much needed revive. And, well, let's jump off this ledge. And get a nice battle against this guy. And I'm looking for bears to, my, uh, to have my Pokemon hold. Yet I'm saying. So here we go. Another battle. This is probably a farmer right here. So let's go ahead and take on a Pokemon Breeder J. Okay, J. Bring out that Butterfree, and this right here is a nice type advantage for us. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use a Thundershock attack right here. And, of course, it's going to be a little bit faster than us right now, so that we're going to have to take. So here we go, Thundershock. Nearly beats this guy. So let's go right ahead and try it one more time in Gust Attack. Will hit us not that hard, but here we go. Thundershock for the win. Say goodbye. And look at this. Puka has grown to level 12, which is great. And, well, everybody else is gaining points. Of course, Ultra Psycho, Yokozuna, Mischievous, level 11. Did, didn't do anything, but look at that. 
That's right, we're doing some stuff right there. Okay. Alrighty, so that's another Pokemon trainer defeated. And you know what? Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here because uh, <laughs> we're going to need it. And, well, we got Super Potions. I'm going to have to waste both of them just to... Just for future references right here, because there are two more trainers that we need to actually battle, I think. Hopefully. I don't know. And, wow, I barely stepped into the grass, and we're getting attacked by another Pokemon right here. So, let's see who it is. And it's another Spiro. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that guy right now. Yeah, I don't want to mess with him. So, let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. Now, let's see. Who else do we need to battle? Okay, so trainer's right there. We're going to get attacked by a Pokemon here. Yeah, my goal right now is to actually battle everybody, guys. And then uh, get us ready for the the totem battle right here. Now, guess I didn't explain this correct. Uh, well, I didn't explain this. But totem battles, uh, was it Kahuna battles? They're basically gym battles right here. Just to test your worth and all that stuff. Now, there I have been vocal about the whole uh, Totem and Kahuna battles, mainly because, well, I've gotten so used to Pokemon Gym Leaders and all that stuff, and thankfully they returned it back in Pokemon Sword and Shield, but right here they kind of change it up for you just a little bit, just to, you know, challenge your, your wits just a tad bit, and that's, I guess that's good. That's good for Pokemon to do, just to challenge your wits a bit, and, well... Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we uh, we don't get too overstimulated when we go into the next few battles right here. Now, gotta change up my Pokemon right here because I cannot afford Puka to faint right now. So let's go right ahead and put Joker in there, and well, let's see what happens. Side beam attack doesn't affect us very much. So let's go straight for a Water Gun attack, and here we go. Now the next attack we're probably gonna have to be using is Aqua Jet because. This is ridiculous. We gotta go first. So here we go, Aqua Jet. Bam! Hits him hard, and say goodbye to Mischievous. Okay, alrighty, look at that. And Puka grows to level 13 and wants to learn Nasty Plot. So let's go ahead and take away the Tail Whip. Now, from here and there, I'm gonna be, ba I'm gonna be battling uh, Puka. And but it's not the best Pokemon to use right now as a Pichu. It's very, very weak defensively and all that stuff. Just wait until it gets into a... Just wait until it becomes a, a Raichu. So here we go, grabbing ourselves a Super Potion. And... Well, let's see. There's really nothing else that I can do except for... Look at the confused look at myself and... Well, there's How. How's it, Draven? Your Pokemon are doing alright? Yeah, fine. Well, I know my team's seen better days, that's for sure. Uh, what is he looking at? Come on, Draven, let's stop by the PMC, Pokemon Center, right? Okay, so what's going to happen right here? A bit of an uh, important event right here. So, you know the Verdant Caverns place, right? I kind of like uh, Sacred, or wait, I guess it's kind of like a Sacred to Tapu Koko. You aren't uh, even allowed to go in unless you're an island challenge. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, Draven. You lucky thing. And here we have three more revives, which is very, very useful. Revives are solid items to have. If your Pokemon faints in battle, you can't go on. Then a revive will perk them right back up. But you probably won't find revives here. Did you know Pokemon sometimes sells, uh, sell different things? And not just that, the two clerks on the counter even sell different things from it one another. I think I'll get myself a tree on the cafe to pump myself up before I even uh, try my first trial. Hmm. Okay. So, that right there was a good exploration. In the next episode, guys, we are going to be going into the Verdant Cavern and probably taking on the first uh, totem Pokemon right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.